if we don't come this month, you know what that next month, next year, before we go come back. Hmm? And we know that people will say, we can say pay 500 now for registration. No, they see those same people. Yeah. They can say bring 500 now for registration. Eh? Mm -hmm. Next year, when we they come, God will help us. We will look high. I don't see some people eyes. You like this small bottle on top. Eh? We will look high. So you go do me. I don't see to phone the ring. Hmm? So, madam, when I bring the water now, everybody mouth who can drink water, except children, no? Then if you get picking where sick, you get children, especially the doctors staying here, they go look at where well. Doctors from General Hospital for Calabar, they don't come join doctors from Cottage Hospital. Eh? Una here? Yeah. Mama, and then if you look sick, so, if you don't speak with mouth, you don't begin to see mad. 15, 16 years, you do that. So we go just check. If they think they're normal, we go do it like this. Give you cold water to drink. Okay? Till another year, you won't look again. No, be so. So call your friend, find you. Call me the baby. Okay? Call me the girl, make sure you Mama, welcome. And Abbe, oh. 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 If you reach your door, your belly water, no food. Agree the next person to do. So that you know, some of us be brothers and sisters. Yeah. Eh? We go fix see at least 200 people before we go. Shall shall go. All the time they say market, they fix sell another day. Or if you go and do, then you go back to your market. And we won't go. We won't buy plantain too. So that the people to bring plantain here. Yeah. Me, I don't get plantain for our And I don't ah, I need that. I say, no. eh? You, I go scan your baby for free. That's my first question. Eh? <laughs> now thank you very much. You from head to toe, go check. Nothing for you. The only thing one don't carry go check now. Every other thing I carry. The job is so done for that day. They just see you. Those ones come from Calabar, Nigeria. Give me your water.
Tell me your your name and your position and everything. Let me start. Thank you. Um, innovation let me call it new because we all know how cancer has been deadly across the world so like for the benefit of the effort of the Nigerian Medical Women Association and also the Mediatric Foundation that's Development Foundation the foundation by the wife of the state governor so like what you're seeing here will it actually aid the people is it like a development or what do you have to say about it as it's ongoing currently now generally on health it's understandable. This is um, this is wonderful. I think uh, all those who initiated this and make it uh, made it come to fruition. I thank them so much. For cancer, I don't like to talk much about cancer because as an individual, cancer has smashed at least three of the most revered human beings in my life. Including Robert Nesta Mali, Chief Ganifa, my very dear mother. So whenever I hear cancer, I feel threatened. So I, I feel very, very happy that I'm a part, I, 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 I'm part and parcel of this project. I think um, these women who have taken these ventures for the American doctors have really proven that. Um, Governance belongs to the people. They have really proven that they are doctors of hypocrites. The father of uh, Western medicine, yes, point of origin. Western medicine, yes. not the father of medicine. I'm a pan Africanist. So I have to be very wrong. So that is why, as soon as uh, I was uh, informed from the beginning, I gave them my maximum compression. And I'm um, very happy that. Uh, Essentially, I was instrumental to their coming to the assembly. Uh, this started when I was vice chairman of uh, the House of Assembly Committee on Health. And we interacted and we became brothers and sisters. And we promised ourselves that uh, before we are done, we are come to an end. One or two things should be done to show that uh, the assembly people. about um, this exercise? Well, today is World Cancer Day, so we are 
joining other partners to collaborate uh, to commemorate this particular day. Uh, it's a global uh, activity that we're having here. But uh, with the uh, initiative of the Medical Women Association, we are having a more broader and expanded uh, exercise into the BSA. So far, it's been great. Yeah, um, looking into the issue of cancer awareness, have you gotten any data for Cross River State as regards cancer affecting the men, cancer affecting the women? Well, for now, uh, I would not be specific, but there, there are no general uh, uh, statistics for as, as one of the Since the beginning of the awareness exercise today uh, to mark World Cancer Day with the theme, uh, we can, I can, um, have there been any positive client? Yes. Uh, for instance, when you look at prostate cancer, for instance, uh, it's something that it, it comes in gradually as you increase in age. So we, uh, there have been a positive case here in man already. Those that are responsible to give proper attention to them have already attended to them. The various counseling and all the advices that he is, uh, is required for him to give Apart from cancer screening, is this group also screening any other ailments? Of course, we have. Uh, we are doing the HIV, the, as a HTC, uh, HIV testing and counseling. Uh, malaria is also going on. Uh, of course, you know the Dirty Women Foundation. We have uh, core intervention. Have all of that covered. Like I said, uh, my name is Dr. Freeman Tabengi, the state chairman of the National Association of Government and Medical Dental Practitioner. The umbrella group of the doctors. We are here to partner with the Okay, so, okay, thank you for that. So, like, now you came, you left, okay, I know you're not based here generally. So, you're here in support of the World Cancer Day to make sure that the menace is being caught or eradicated or reduced to the level at which you want it. So, due to the situation here, like the people and everything, and as a doctor, what do you have to say about the current situation of ground? Well, the situation here is quite uh, encouraging. Because, like the earlier said, in general, any detection prevents serious uh, complications. So, a way of uh, bringing the uh, World Cancer Day celebration to rural area is a way of having to nip the minute rock by making sure the, it's actually a screening program. Who have the propensity of developing cancer in the shortest possible time will be identified by them. And then treatment measures uh, get started on time to prevent the very serious complications of cancer. Okay, so what do you have to say to people out there? You know, many people, even when we went for the awareness creation, some were that shy to come out, and some were like, you know, in one way or the other. So what do you have to tell them, the entire crowd, about this screening thing? Well, well, the, the message there is this. There's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing to be, to be shy about. Let them come out. Understand? Let them come out so that 
they can benefit from this uh, gesture that is being uh, highly supported by the, gov the, the government of uh, His Excellency Professor, Senator Professor Ben Ayabi, and his dear wife, My Excellency Dr. Mrs. It's, it's, it's a lofty uh, idea because over the years this has not been brought to the camp of the Secretary of Cross River State Cancer Research Council, which was uh, inaugurated by uh, Professor, His Excellency Professor Dr. Professor Ben Ayade. Uh, we actually commend him for uh, coming up with this initiative. It's actually the first time in this country any governor is coming up with something like this. And um, we have gone so far to partner with the Medical Women Association to reach out to the BSA community and those around the Central Senatorial District. After, I'm actually, our, blue, our vision is to come up with a cancer center in the state because the state serves as a serene and, and, and as a tourism, a tourism uh, place. You know, we actually want to bridge that gap between the middle, the middle men, where people travel to India or to South, to South Africa for cancer care. We actually want a situation where Prosper State will become um, a medical tourism uh, center. You know, it will also serve as an as um, a source of income to us. Apart from that, we are also looking at um, establishing uh, cancer screening centers across the three senatorial districts. We are thinking of having one in Calabar. World class cancer, research, uh, cancer screening centers in Calabar, one in Nikom, and the other at the north, probably Obuja or Obudu, local government area. Okay, so thank you for that. Uh, concerning the World Cancer Day and what we are seeing here, what, why did you take this initiative, leaving Calabar down to Biase? You know, most people could have been expecting that it should be in Calabar, the capital city, and the rest. So why did you take it down yes, to this? From, from, statistics, from statistics, it has actually been discovered that screening reduces early detection of you know, early detection of uh, cancer by screening actually reduces morbidity and mortality in a whole in, in a whole lot of patients. So now, um, coming down here is to make sure that we bridge. Introduce yourself, your name, and the organisation you are representing. Okay, okay so, so like. I'll make you to partner with the other organization to set up this day. Okay, so this, like you said, to, to preserve cancer and also, yes, prevent it. So you left Calabar, which is supposed to be the anchor point or the main point, to a rural area, a place like Baesa. So what made you to leave the place down here to conduct your screening or your... Well, the method is to the grassroots. People in Calabar, we have organized something for that. So, like, what's the outcome here as you are here, the turnover, the, uh, the turn up of the people, and also the progress? How has it been going? So apart from that, any other difficulties you are facing? 
Okay, and let me say this like final. What do you have to tell the people out there? They especially the youth that seems to be hiding themselves in which they are carrying one disease or the other. What do you have to tell them? Mm. So that medication where they give you, how much you don't pay? Ah no. Eh? You don't pay money. You actually you pick tell the organizers we don't do this thing. You actually pick tell them. You like music. 